What's going on guys, it's Dan here, welcome to the game update for the month of September for 2012. Uh, a few games up on the lineup, uh, not, I actually very surprisingly, it's not a very busy month. Uh, usually, this is, when, this is when fourth quarter kicks off, uh, late August, early September, and this month really doesn't have all that many releases, I run, like very surprisingly, but uh, obviously I'm going to make things work as much as I can and find something to uh, abide my time or whatever you want to say. But first off, uh, I'm going to start off very quickly and just let you guys know that the reviews for uh, Sleeping Dogs and Transformers Fall of Cybertron are going to be done. Don't worry, a lot of people always wonder where they go. I like to give myself enough time to really think about it. You know, I'll be doing the Super Show on uh, Monday. As you guys know, it's uh, I'm sure a lot of you know, it's Labor Day long weekend, so I have... Uh, I, since my days off are different, I have Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, so it's, it works out either way. I get Labor Day off, it's going to be great. So... Um, I'll be recording it on Monday, post my thoughts on it, because I know a lot of people like to watch those reviews. So, I'll do that on Monday, just so you guys are aware. Anyways, uh, before I really get into the next official release, uh, actually, you know what, I will get into it, since it's actually coming up this Tuesday. Uh, kind of a smaller release, it's a DLC release uh, for um, Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Skyrim has another add-on pack following uh, Dawnguard. And while Dawnguard DLC is now available on PS3 and P... Actually, is it available on PS3? No. It's, I don't think, as of now, I don't think it's available on PS3 yet. Only on PS3, PC, which they did like a stealth release. It's hilarious. Like, no one knew they released it on PC, but they did. Uh, but this is another Xbox 360. I don't want to say exclusive, but I don't know. It's... <coughs> excuse me. Meaning uh, PC users aren't going to... Are, are probably won't get it for a month. Well, uh, PS3 users, God knows how long, probably a year, because they're pretty cruel to PS3, uh, to Sony users, PS3 users, you know, Sony didn't get the agreement or get the deal like uh, Microsoft did for the Xbox. So basically what's happening is Xbox 360 users get the DLC earlier than the other consoles. So basically, um, I, I have Skyrim on 360, I'm, I'm happy I bought it on 360 just for this reason. I had no idea, but it was just the most convenient one for me being on 360. So anyway, the DLC is called Hearthfire. And basically, Hearthfire, it's, it's not so much a story-based DLC. What it is, is a... Um, God, what do you even call it? Uh, I don't know, it's a little... Let's just call it a bullshit DLC. Basically, it's like putting... The Sims into Skyrim. Honestly, it's like the Sims with Skyrim because what the whole DLC does, it allows you to buy a plot of land, build a house, uh, remarry, so you're the, you can actually have marriage. I don't know if you can have kids or if you can just adopt them, but you can adopt kids and you can like uh, build up your house and protect it from attacks. Just little bullshit things. It's totally just completely out of the you know completely out of the norm for Skyrim. It makes it completely changes the style kind of odd for a Skyrim DLC, but it's going to be cheap. As far as I know, I think it's like, excuse me, 400 Microsoft points, which is what? You know what? I'm not even 100% sure how much that is. Uh, let's see, 102 times 4. So it's probably about $5. Five, four, five, $5, I think, something like that. So for 5 bucks, just more content from Skyrim gives you guys something to watch. I figured why not give it a try. See, it, it could be hilarious. You know, It could just be like The Sims. Go take a piss, go eat this, go watch TV, or do whatever you need to do. I think it'd be kind of funny to watch. So that's that. However, there is no releases coming out from September 4th to September 18th. So that, that leaves me, and I wouldn't even call that a release, uh, This the, the Skyrim DLC. It's going to be a quick segment. I don't even know how long it's gonna, I'm going to take to record it. But I'll record it and see how long it is, but it won't take up all that much of my time. Maybe a, the day I'll record and be done with it, you know what I mean? So I'm not 100% sure what's going to happen there, but I'm going to try and find something. Uh, I might do another Ask Dan Q. For those of you who don't know, you're new to the channel or you just not, haven't been around long enough, I, do, I have done a series in the past, basically it's a Q&A, you guys ask me questions and I read, uh, just to prove, like pretty much it's like, you guys ask me questions in the comments of this one video and then I answer them in usually about a week's time, live, well not so much live, but I record myself as I'm reading them off the computer so I don't I don't filter questions. I don't like getting questions like, uh, 
you know, like hateful questions. Like I haven't, but I've gotten some pretty personal questions, which I have answered. I, I mean, I have nothing to hide from anybody. So I'm sure a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about for those of you who have been around long enough to witness the last couple episodes of uh, Ask Dan Q. It's been a while. I'm thinking about doing that again. A lot of requests lately to do one because everyone has a lot of questions. Uh, I would like to keep it contained to at least just like one, one question per person usually because now that I have a larger following than last time, there's going to be way more questions and it's going to be a longer segment. The last segment was an hour long and the, you know not everyone wants to sit through an hour's worth of questions, but I would like to keep that under contained you know, and would like to ask you, answer your questions to the best of my ability. Uh, I'd have to be quick and quick though. Like, like I said, it's hard to do my method now. Now that my following is getting larger as we go, which is awesome, I'm loving it, but I'm just letting you guys know. But I'll figure out more gameplay in that time. Hell, I may actually start Star Wars Night Zero Republic 2, The Sith Lords. A lot of like, people love my first one of uh, first playthrough of Star Wars Night Zero Republic. They, I told people I'd be doing a second one, but I need time, usually a month or so, because that's how long it took me to really play and upload, because I didn't play constantly with KOTOR 1 at all. I would play like maybe a couple hours here and there, and then just upload what I did. And uh, so and gradually, nice and slowly, and I think I might want to do that again with KOTOR 2. Maybe just at least start it and then I can pick it up when I have time. Problem is once we get into October, it's just a gong show. And obviously that's a month from now, but uh, I'll explain that like when we get to that date. So now it's going to be the last official breath of air month that will let me relax and try and have some like, you know, just get ready for October because October is going to be uncontrollably gong showish. So. October is actually going to bleed into November, so what is going to have to happen in October is the uh, the stuff that I'm going to be doing. Um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, I might have to do little bits of each part, like I did on in June, in late June, for those three games that were really popular. There's tons of extremely popular games coming out, and I want to do some of each. And then it might. I hope it. I hope we'll have them all done by uh, the end of the year. I, I'm pretty sure I would. But you never know, right? I might just have to grind through certain games and stuff like that and just go all out because I'm going to have to. Like October 30th is the main day, but well, that's October. Let's not get into that again. But anyway, I'll find something to do in the meantime between September 4th and September 18th. Okay? So September 18th releases a huge release everyone wants to see. One of the game, the, the, the first game won uh, an award for the, the most games in a, or most weapons in a single game, and that's Borderlands 2. I'll be doing that one. Myself and the Decay Nation are probably uh, going to be doing that a, a four-player co-op uh, walkthrough of that one. Hopefully we can work it around our schedules. If you guys don't know what the Decay Nation is, it's a group of, I'm, I'm a member of this, this group, uh, along with Mr. Retro Kid. Uh, who else is there? There's new members. A few people left. A few people uh, are, are started. Um, so a few of us there. Uh, are going to be doing that hopefully and with commentary. I don't know. We haven't really worked out the kinks yet of the details, but that's probably what's going to take place. Hopefully we can work it around our, our schedules because out of everybody, I have probably the busiest schedule since I have a full-time job on, on top of all this. So we'll figure something out, but uh, hopefully it'll be easy enough. Although I hope I don't have to go in solo, uh, but if I do, so be it. But I'd rather do it in co-op. It'd be way more fun. So that's Borderlands 2. And by the way, I'm getting the, the limited edition uh, it's a step down from the, I don't know if it's they call it collectors or something regarding the game. I can't remember, what, but it comes with a chest. Hell, that one isn't even available at the the EB Games that I that I go to. They're like, we don't have that. I'm like, I don't want it. Honestly, that's retarded. I don't need all that crap. The limited edition comes with a few nice goodies, so I'll be getting that on Xbox 360. And finally, uh, a week later, is it a week later? Yes, it is. No, I think it is. Hell, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> releases Family Guy Back to the Multiverse. Which basically is, if you guys, do you remember, I don't know if you guys watch Family Guy, I'm sure a lot of you do. Uh, I, I like the show, I don't watch as much as I used to, but back to the multiverse, or multiverse, sorry, I wasn't going into the multiverse, I think that was the name of the episode. Basically where Stewie and Griffin, or Griffin, why did I call him Griffin? Stewie and Brian, why did I call him Griffin for, oh, last name, what a dumbass, sorry. Uh, Stewie and Brian kind of, they have like this, uh, remote control thing which takes them into different, like, dimensions pretty much, and there's like... Uh, different parodies upon themselves, like for example, they, they end up in uh, Disney World, you know, like like not actually, not the theme park, but everything is rendered in Disney, There's everything sings song, it's really funny, just different things like that. I think it'll be a really good game to try out, something like more of a comic relief, and then 
that'll pretty much be the last game of September, and then we head into heavy gaming season, which is pretty gone like crazy. I'm not even kidding. If you look at the project list on my channel, channel description uh, has a complete list of the games that I'll be doing that have confirmed release dates, most of them. Some of them do not, I don't have them up yet, like games that are released in 2013. I don't have them up yet, but it is updated. I do like to make a mention of that. But, you know, you never know. But that's all there is for the month of September. Last year we, oops, I'll fix that later. <laughs> a lot, we had way more uh, releases in the month of September, 2011. But uh, I think it'll be a nice gradual slip in, but it's like this, it's like, you got a slope, right? You're, go you're, you're going downhill, 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 then boom, you know, just shoo, drop into October. It's going to be nuts. But I would like to mention one final thing before I go. Um, uh, for people who are following me long enough, at least since April, uh, or even before that, you'll know that I moved to this place here that I'm in right now. Um, I, I like the place. Uh, however, like I'm renting this place right now. Uh, however, I am very strongly considering uh, looking to buy, like actually buy like a condo for myself. Like now that I have the, the income from both my jobs and that, I can afford a nice, nice, way nicer place and I can actually afford it. And the thing that's funny is I probably, for something that's way nicer than this place, I'd be paying the same amount in rent. It's hilarious because rent like is, is pretty much throwing your money away. I just wanted to make, let you guys know because depending what I find, I may actually be moving in uh, in the next few months, uh, maybe even December, January area. I just want to let you guys know, like, because honestly, my landlady, I hate, I shouldn't say this, but I can't stand her. She doesn't do anything for me. She's like extremely rude, but honestly, yeah, I shouldn't really be airing this dirty laundry, but I don't care. It's tough to, it's really tough not to vent. Uh, I can only vent to certain, so many people in my personal life. I got to vent to you guys, my big fan base, that my landlady's a total dumbass who doesn't know anything and she's lazy as hell. <sighs> But I prefer to be in control of my own place, not having to be off the whim of some stupid broad in her 30s who doesn't know anything about anything, you know, is trying to screw you over, is take money from you, you know, like, incomplete projects. Like, look, I don't know if you, there's an vent here in my bedroom, it's not even covered because it didn't fit, so she just gave up. You know, little things like that, but I'm not gonna, oh, I, I, I probably would rent forever, but I'm not going to because that's not, this is a game update. But I just want to let you guys know I may be getting into a new condo in the next few months, maybe more likely late this year. So if I move again and there's a, there's a gap in stuff, it's myself getting all my, my stuff together and moving again. I hate moving, but, and I, it's funny because I, I do it as one of my main jobs. It's pretty funny. Uh, one of my, my full-time job, my day job, and yet I hate moving my personal stuff. I'm very careful with it. But anyways, just thought I'd let you guys know that possible new condo in the next, maybe late, late in the next few months, depending how well it goes. Probably, definitely next year though, I'll be in a con, new condo for my own place because I got to do it. I need my own place. I got to be a pimp man. I got to be a baller. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm a baller status. I just got to do it. Anyways, so thanks guys for watching the game update for September 2012. Uh, the, quite a few good titles coming out this year, especially the big, the big hit is Borderlands 2, of course, where we're going to start off this Tuesday, actually this Monday with the reviews for, um, what am I saying here? Uh, the reviews for <laughs> Sleeping Dogs and, uh, what else am I saying here? Sleeping Dogs and F Transformers Fall Aside Cyberpunk. I couldn't even think. And I'm considering to go back to more Sleeping Dogs, doing more of my Return to Hong Kong segment. There's a few things I, I want to do. Just a few more parts, something crazy. But I figured maybe I'd do it and just give you guys something to watch. So we'll see. I'll play it by ear. That's starting on Monday. And then on Tuesday, we'll do the uh, Hearthfire DLC for Skyrim. And we'll continue from there. So thanks, guys. Take it easy. Hope you enjoy the footage to come. They'll, hopefully, I'll find some a lot to do. Take it easy. I'll see you later. Stay tuned for the footage. And I'll catch you guys next time. Had to do it.